I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to trace an image with enough fill lines in order for it to foil. I'm using Silhouette Studio version 4.2.448, which is the newest beta version from Silhouette America. I started, as you can see on the screen, with an 8.5 by 11 size piece of paper on my Silhouette mat. Because I'm going to use registration marks when I print it, so that when I send it to my Silhouette Cameo, it will use the registration marks in order to find the image perfectly. I've done it both ways, and for me, it works best if I use registration marks. I'm going to grab an image from my library, and you can see that this one is too big. I'm going to just size it down. Now on this particular thing, I'm not worried about saving paper or any of that kind of thing. So I'm going to put it right in the middle because I'm going to cut it out to go on top of a card. Once I've done that, I'm going to open my trace panel and I'm going to select the trace area. Now it automatically defaults to doing solid fill but I don't want the solid fill, I want the outline. And to say outline is a little bit misleading because it does the outlines of lots of things inside this particular image. Once it changes on the screen, you'll see that it's much different. Now, this is not enough for me, and I'll zoom in so you can see this better. I want all of this to foil and some of the insides. This is total personal preference. If this is exactly what you want, leave it. If it's not, then increase the threshold percentage until you get it like you want it. Some of this, with it has lots of little tracing marks, which will foil, is really pretty. So it's just, again, personal preference. For me, I want most of the outline of the flower and the little flowers and leaves. So I'm going to keep increasing the percentage of the threshold up until I get exactly how I want it. I've done this one before, so I know I want it to be about 88 or 89 percent. And you can see that most of the outline has traced, including some of the inside. Then I just say trace. Once I've done that, it is ready to send with registration marks. All of the things that were traced will now, after being printed, will now foil when I send it to my Cameo. So I'm going to add the registration marks on the page setup panel. And I'm sending it to a Cameo, so I'm going to choose that. And now I'm going to Take this 8.5 by 11 piece of paper and send it to my printer by going File and then Print and then send it to my printer. So here it is and it's just come off the printer and I'm going to now tape it onto my mat. So after having printed it with registration marks and then adding my foil, now I'm going to send it to the printer. So now we'll check it out.
did this one in rose gold. I don't know if you can see the shiny or not. I love it. Here it is off the, the cutter. I think you can get the idea of the outline around the graphic. I used a single, single line sketch font for my text.